Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be filming my What I Got for Christmas 2018. I love filming and uploading these videos every year. They are one of my very favorite videos to put up on my channel. I cannot believe this is going to be my fourth What I Got for Christmas that I'm putting up on my channel. If you guys wanna go check out all of my What I Got for Christmases from 2015 and on, I will leave them linked in the description box down below and I will leave last year's right here if you guys wanna go check it out. 2015's is definitely a cringe, but they're fun to look back on. So if you guys wanna go check them out I will have them all in the description but like I said today I'm gonna be showing you guys everything I got for Christmas this year I just want to make the disclaimer like I do every single year and like everyone does this is in no way shape or form to brag about what I got I am so beyond grateful and blessed to have gotten all of these gifts but I really appreciate just all the time that I got to spend with my family for the holidays all of my little cousins and my niece it was just such a great Christmas season and I want to thank you guys for always being supportive and supporting my channel I'm grateful for you guys around the holidays as well but like I said this is in no way shape or form to brag it is just super fun video to film I enjoy watching other people's and I thought you guys would enjoy this one as well I hope you guys had an awesome Christmas or whatever holiday you guys celebrate I hope you guys had great holidays definitely let me know what you got for Christmas in the description box down below or what you guys did for the holidays and if you want to see my what I got for Christmas 2018 keep on watching so I'm gonna start off with some smaller things that I have in this cute little bag right here I don't necessarily have like stocking stuff because I don't do a stocking in my family. That's just something we haven't done in a while. So these are just a bunch of mixed little things that I got from everyone. But before I get into the presents, I just want to say a huge thank you if you got me something. I feel so grateful. I love everything that I got and I love everyone that I saw this Christmas and it was just a really great Christmas. Starting off with some of the little things that I got. My grandma always gets us like chocolate or Nutella and I showed this in my what I got for Christmas last year. This is Nutella and this is the authentic one that's imported from Italy. Italy. I think she gets us in like the little Italy that's located in the Bronx. They actually import the Nutella. I did show this last year, like I said, but as you guys can see, the packaging and everything is in Italian. I swear that this Nutella is like a hundred times better than the one that you can get in your local grocery store that's in the plastic packaging. This is so heavy and legit and it's so good. And if you guys know me, I'm a huge Nutella lover, so I will definitely go through this jar, but it's just so cute. I love getting gifts like this. And then sticking on the Nutella theme. I love Frere Rocher's and anything to do with Nutella and chocolate. So my aunt got me a hollow milk chocolate and hazelnut snowman. So it's just like a little Frere Rocher guy. So cute. I love these. Like I said, these are my absolute favorite chocolate ever. And then my friend Taylor also got me a Christmas tree of Frere Rocher's. Ferrero Rochers. That's really hard to say when you're talking fast. And then this Christmas tree has 12 inside and I ate two right when I opened them. So I love these, like I said, these are my favorite chocolate and definitely the way to my heart around Christmas or any time of year, I just love these. So I have Nutella and for our Rochers to last me like 10 years here. The next thing that I have to show you guys are some gift cards. So I got an Ulta Beauty gift card, which I'm definitely gonna put to good use. I think I either wanna pick up the new L'Oreal foundation with this or a Juvia's Place palette. I've been interested in both of those things and I can get them both at Ulta. So I'll pick up one of those items. The next thing that I got is a Nordstrom gift card. I love shopping at Nordstrom. They have such nice clothes. A lot of my favorite pieces that I wear and a lot of my videos are from Nordstrom. So this is, I thought was so cute. It looks like a little shopping bag and then this is what it looks like on the other side I just thought this was so adorable So I'm definitely gonna use that very soon as well And then my aunt got me a Mac gift card I'm gonna buy a lot of fix plus with this and I also I'll show you guys later I'm trying some new powder kiss lipsticks and I want to try them in more shades So really excited for this. There's an awesome Mac store near my dorm when I go back to school So I'm definitely gonna go shopping and put this to good use. So thank you for that I'm definitely gonna use this super soon my boyfriend Friends parents got me this super cute mosaic elephant I do have to build it but I'll pop a picture right here of what it's supposed to look like when it's all assembled but it's a phone holder and then it also has little compartments on the tops for like pen or makeup brushes or anything like that so I think when it's all built the actual trunk is gonna be able to hold the phone horizontally so I could use it when I'm doing my makeup or something and it's also just like the cutest pink and green mosaic this is gonna match the decorations in my room really perfectly and then also a little stocking stuffer that my 
my mom got me is this glow lens. This is a wide angle illuminating cell phone lens. We actually saw this in Alexandria Garza's gift guide and we thought this was so cool. So basically what it is is a ring light for your front camera. If you guys can see right here, that is how it attaches. But not only is it an illuminating light, but it also turns your selfies more like wide angle. Let me see if we could actually test it out right now. So I'm gonna take a selfie before without it on. And then let's go ahead and pop this on and see how this works because I'm intrigued. It's just supposed to make it wider so your selfies aren't so up close. And then you could also get more of that background in the back. Oh, wow. This is so cool. How do you turn it on? Oh, yes. Okay, guys, this thing is so fun. I was just playing around with it. So if this is how it looks right on my phone, if you guys can see, it has three brightness settings. I have two bright ring lights on, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it that well, but this is one, two, three the brightest, and then this is it shut off. But I'm gonna insert right now, I just took two selfies before and after. So this right here is the before selfie with just the normal front camera, and then this right here is the after selfie showcasing the wide angle as well as the ring light. I think I still have to play around with it. I'm not seeing as crisp as a photo with the actual lens on top. I think I just have to play around with the placement and stuff, but I love the wide angle. Sometimes I do struggle. I have a really big head and a big face. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I do struggle fitting like my face or if I'm with a group of people I think that'll be great for taking like a group selfie or something really cool but I love this I think this is so awesome you guys know I love taking selfies and hopefully I'll up my Instagram game a little bit more with this so I love this thank you mom I love it and I think maybe I'll plug it in and charge it so I could use it a little bit after this video okay so the next thing I have to show you guys my mom got as well it's a little ring from Stella and dot I've been wanting this ring forever I feel like I've mentioned this before before, but my mom is a Stella and Dot stylist and this ring just caught my eye so much and I've really been wanting something like this for a long time. So this is one of their engravable rings and I'm actually gonna put it on right now. So here's what the ring looks like up close. I hope you guys can see. I've been wanting a ring like this for so long with my initials. This one is so beautiful. It's dainty. It has like those little sparkles on there and those are my initials, J-M-A, Jacqueline Ann, and then my last name as well. So I just thought it was so cute. I love these silver. I do like gold on my skin tone as well, but as you guys can see, I just have like the silver locket my boyfriend got me. I'll get into in a little while. And then also every day I do wear my silver princess ring from Pandora. So I just thought that it would complement my other ring really nicely. And now I have my daily rings that I love. So I love this. It's so dainty and I feel like it's just a really nice personalized gift. I love getting personalized things like that. So speaking of personalized jewelry, my boyfriend got me two beautiful pieces for Christmas. One of them being this locket like I mentioned this is a silver heart locket and I believe it is from things remembered but it has the day that we started dating April 24th 2015 engraved on the front of the locket that was so beautiful I love getting pieces like this they're just so like sentimental like I said I love personalized gifts so I love it thank you so much for that and then also the locket actually came in a gorgeous jewelry box also from things remembered let me open it up and show you guys. This is what the jewelry box looks like right here. It has our initials graved on the top, Brandon and Jackie B and J, and it is the most gorgeous silver. And then it has the pearl right here. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. So I love this. I could store all my favorite pieces in here, the locket, the rings, and this is so gorgeous. So love this. I believe this is the last jewelry item that I got, but this is a little pair of sterling silver studs my uncle and his wife got me. These are really cute. I feel like a girl could never have too many studs. I could just put them in if I'm feeling dainty. These are like my favorite studs. These are also from Stella and Dot, but these are absolutely giant. These are definitely like statement studs, but I feel like sometimes if I just want to tone it down, I could put in these little guys and they'd be super cute as well. So I like these a lot. My boyfriend's sister got me a Gossip Girl Blair Waldorf pop figure. These things are so cute. I have a few of them already. They're different like characters. I think I have Batman and Freddy Krueger, which I love. I love Freddy Krueger so much, but my boyfriend's sister got me Blair Waldorf because she knows how much I love Gossip Girl, and I just thought it was so cute. I actually didn't know that they even had Gossip Girl pop vinyls until very, very recently. 
recently, but they have all of the characters, like the main characters from the show. So Serena, Dan, Blair, Nate, Jenny, and Chuck. I thought it was so cute. That is what Blair looks like, and I'm so excited to add her to my collection, and I definitely want to get more Gossip Girl ones because I'm Gossip Girl obsessed. I want everything and anything to do with Gossip Girl. <laughs> the next thing that I got for Christmas is this book. I actually talked about this in my Christmas wishlist video, and my aunt got this for me, so thank you so much. I'm so excited to read this. So this is the book Girl, Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis. I've just read so many good things about this book. It's very like supposed to be like inspirational and motivational for girls. So it says stop believing the lies about who you are so you can become who you were meant to be. So I was actually telling a few people recently that I've been like dying to find a good book. I'm not a huge reader at all. I haven't read a book in so long, but I feel like I just want to get into something besides social media. Obviously I love YouTube and Instagram. It's what I do, but I feel like sometimes I just need to unplug, but I'm not going to lie when I do unplug, I'm always so bored. So I feel like I want to get back into reading and I thought this would be a great start. Like I've said, I've heard amazing things about this book and this is definitely something that I want to start reading. Maybe come the new year, like I said, this will be my little new year's resolution is to get through this book, but it looks like a pretty easy read. It's about 200 pages. And like I said, when I do find a great book, I do really enjoy reading, but I don't read a lot and it's just something that I want to get back into. So maybe this will help me get back into it. <laughs> Another thing that I got that was actually in my Christmas wish list that I'm so thankful for because this is something that's going to come in such handy for my channel and stuff is this camera carrying case. I feel like this is too big to even show on camera. So maybe I'll do like a separate clip and show you guys. But basically whenever I go back and forth from my home to my dorm or if I film at someone else's house, if I'm filming a video somewhere else, it's just really difficult for me to carry all of my equipment. I have separate carrying cases for my lights and my tripod and then I have one for my camera. So I wanted just like a big professional grade photography case that I could carry all of my stuff in just to make traveling with my equipment a lot easier. So I will have the link to this down below. I believe, yeah, this is from Amazon and it is from, I'm trying to see if you guys can even see, and it is from the brand Newer, which is the same brand actually as the ring light that I use. So now getting into some more cozy items, I got a bunch of socks and PJs and cozy things like that. So the first thing that I got from my boyfriend's parents is this set of pajamas. So it has the shirt, a super soft and cozy pair of shorts. These are like some of the softest things I've ever felt and I love sleeping in shorts and then also a long pair of pajama pants. I rarely do sleep in long pairs of pajama pants, but I pretty much only hang around my house in long pairs of pajama pants. I have a pair on right now. I don't think you guys will be able to see. Let me see. I have a long pair of pajama pants on right now. These are from Old Navy. So I love hanging out in pajama pants. I'm definitely going to get a lot of wear out of those. I love pajamas and I feel like that's something you could never really go wrong with getting someone is a nice set of pajamas. I got a couple pairs of like slippers and fuzzy socks. So the first ones, my boyfriend got me these two. These are from the brand Nolia and they're plush Sherpa slipper socks with the non-skid sole. So this soft Sherpa material runs all throughout the sock. This one is a super cute red pattern and it does have those little grips at the bottom. And then he also got me the gray pattern with snowflakes on them. These are so soft and comfortable. I cannot wait to wear these. One of my favorite things about them is how big and roomy they look. They almost remind me of like a boot slipper or like a boot sock. They just look like they're gonna be very, very comfortable and I love both of these colors that he picked out. Also from my boyfriend's parents too, they got me these slip-on little memory foam black velvet slippers. These are really cute. I was actually gonna wear them on Christmas because I wore a black velvet dress and I totally forgot to, but these are what those look like and I believe they are from Kohl's as well. And then the last pair of socks that I have here is from one of my best friends, Taylor. These are just like the softest, cute pattern, Christmassy fuzzy socks. So I love fuzzy socks. Like I said, these are just some of my favorite things to get. I love getting cozy items like this. So thank you so much. I love all of it. Oh, one more cozy thing that I totally almost forgot to show you guys is a Barefoot Dreams blanket. I have been dying to get one of these blankets for so long. Just the way Jaclyn Hill talks about them, 
I could almost just like feel them without even having one. And now I have one. I am so happy. These are originally super expensive. These are originally like over a hundred dollars, I believe pushing 150, which is crazy for a blanket. My dad and my stepmom got this for me and said that they found it on Nordstrom Rack for more than half off, like a really good price. But these are so soft. If you guys like have dreamed about barefoot dreams and like what it feels like, it's definitely way softer. It's so soft and plushy and I can now wait to unwrap this and use it to keep me warm but when I went on the website literally almost every single color was sold out in these besides the navy blue one so I feel like that shows that people were really scooping these up at a good price but it's such great quality I know it's expensive for a blanket but it really feels like a luxurious soft blanket that is totally worth the money so I got it in this navy shade and then it has like some white heathered effect this is called the cozy chic blanket with a heathered stripe and it is is 45 inches by 60 inches. So this is gonna be plenty big to cuddle with. So thank you again for this. This is so soft and I love it. This is a little Michael Kors bag that I got for Christmas. This is from my cousin and her family. This is really cute. One of my favorite things about this is the size. I feel like it's picking up. I'm looking in my monitor. I feel like it might be picking up a little bit bigger on camera than it actually is in person. It's just the cutest little small dainty bag. But another one of my favorite things about it is the actual color scheme. I'm such a neutral girl. I love black and gray and white and that is everything that this bag is. So this is what it looks like. It has the little lock and then it also has a few different compartments in there. Right here it comes with that middle zipper pocket and one of my favorite things about it is that it actually does come with the awesome crossbody strap. I love wearing my bags crossbody. I rarely ever hold a purse by its actual handles or hang it over my arm or something like that. My favorite types of bags are crossbody so that is definitely how I'm gonna be wearing this cute little bag. Okay so now I'm gonna move on to some clothes. I got a few clothing pieces this year. I'm gonna insert some try on clips because I feel like I'm a little too close to the camera to be able to show you guys the full effect but the first thing here that I have is this cardigan from Topshop my mom got this for me I love this I don't know what you would call this pattern I don't know if it's even showing up on camera that well it has the coolest pattern on the sleeve almost like a honeycomb pattern and the sleeves are very like big and baggy which I love and then it's just like the most beautiful long <laughs> gray color yeah I'm definitely gonna have to insert try on clips because I don't think you guys will be able to really pick up its true like size and shape and stuff like that on camera but it's just so pretty I love the detailing definitely one of my favorite things about it the next clothing piece that I got is from my friend Taylor I don't know if you guys remember last year she got me the hairspray t-shirt and the friends baseball cap she loves getting me little things like that she just knows me so well so this is the piece that she got me this year it says blending is my cardio I thought that was so hilarious I say that all the time that I blend my eyeshadow so hard and so much it literally turns into like a workout for me but this is so cute I believe she got it from an Etsy shop I will have it linked down below I think it is called resilience streetwear but this is what it looks like I will definitely like I said insert a clip of me wearing it so you guys could see how it looks and what type of shirt it is I also got two blanket scarves I had blanket scarves on my list I've just been like so into scarves lately especially being out and about in the city a lot so I got two scarves one is from my boyfriend's sister I'm not sure where exactly she got this but I love this one one. I don't have a scarf in this color. This is definitely like that classic Christmassy print I would say with the red and the blue and the green and then also this one is from Old Navy It is from my dad and my stepmom and it is the white and black plaid Okay, so now moving on to makeup and beauty I know you guys are probably like where is all the makeup and beauty stuff you got but I decided to save it for last So now that is what I'm gonna show you guys So the first thing I am so excited to show you guys this and I'm so excited to have this this is the Sigma premium brush kit my dad and my stepmom got this for me I've just really been wanting new brushes recently I feel like Sigma brushes are just the absolute best that you could get in the market in my opinion I love just the professional quality of them and I've just really been wanting a nice brush set from Sigma so they got me this premium brush set this is the actual case that it comes in if you guys could feel this this is so professional and high quality feeling so this comes with 15 brushes it kind of just comes with everything that you may need so face eyes lips blenders and stuff like that so this is how the case looks when you open it up I don't know how to show you guys this so it has seven brushes here 
and then eight brushes here when you flip it over. So like I said, it's just a mixture of all the different brushes. So here we have some face and eye brushes right here. This is such nice quality. I wish you guys could feel this. And then when you flip it over, there are just tons more brushes. So I'm so excited to add these to my brush collection. Like I said, I feel like brushes to me are a huge part of makeup application and blending and it just makes the application so much nicer and easier in general. This is such a nice professional kit that I love and then I just noticed it also comes with a little brush shampoo, which is super cute. So the next thing that I opened up for Christmas were a bunch of kale polishes. So I'll show you guys the shades that I got. So my brother got me four and my boyfriend got me three. So I'll show you guys the ones that Nick got me. Nick got me Mindy and Chloe, which are such gorgeous shades like the olive green and the deep purple. And then he also got me Graham and what is this? Cafe Disco, which are more like neutral shades. Graham is kind of just like a classic taupey gray and Cafe Disco, I don't know if you guys can see, is like a taupe, but it has that beautiful sheen to it like that. So I love these shades. Shades. Actually, my boyfriend ended up getting me these same two shades, Cafe Disco and Graham. So even though I have two of each, I honestly don't even mind because they're really nice everyday neutral shades that I definitely feel like I could go through. So thank you guys so much for those. Oh, and then there is also one more shade. My boyfriend got me the shade 1435, which I believe is like a dusty blue shade. I feel like it's picking up a little bit more like royal blue on camera, but in person, it's like a little bit more of a dusty blue. And then and the last few things that I have to show you guys are the makeup items. My mom got me a few makeup items this year. I Yeah, these are the only makeup items that I got this year. I feel like everyone went a little bit out of what they typically got me, which I really love. I love when people get me things that I don't necessarily ask for, but it still fits my personality and what I would like so much or even like more practical things. But I did get a few makeup things this year, so I'll show you guys those. So the first few things that my mom got me were all from MAC and these were all on my list. I've been really wanting to try a MAC lip liner like I mentioned in my Christmas wish list video I believe. I've never tried a MAC lip liner before and I've heard so many great things about them. So she got me this one which is the shade Boldly Bare and I'll swatch it. It's kind of just like that typical peachy nude shade that you guys know I love and that I wear all of the time. And then she also got me the two powder kiss lipsticks that I wanted. I was so excited when I opened these. The first one right here is Mullet Over. It is the one that I'm wearing right now on my lips. I would definitely say this is like a peachy nude shade, a little bit deeper than a nude, but definitely has that strong, warm, and peachy undertone to it. I don't know if you guys will be able to see the actual packaging on these lipsticks is like that NARS soft touch feeling, but I feel like the the lipstick is very reminiscent of that on the lips as well. It's mattifying, but it's not drying or hard to apply. It glides on the lips so easily and does almost have like a little bit of a powdery finish. So I'll show you guys right now. This is what mullet over looks like. You definitely have to try it to feel the formula on the lips. Wow, those actually match like really perfectly, but that is the shade mullet over. But like I said, you guys definitely have to try this formula to feel how interesting it is on the lips. And then the other shade of the powder kiss lipstick that I got is the shade impulsive. I believe this one is a little bit more of a brownie nude. This is what that one looks like right here. And then swatching it, you guys will definitely see this one is a little bit more of a brown color. So this one right here is impulsive. I think it's really funny because when mullet over is by itself, it looks more peachy, but when you put impulsive next to it, it almost makes mullet over look a little more pink than peach. But this is that shade. I love these shades. These are definitely both so up my alley and they will both go really well with that lip liner. Like I said right now, I'm wearing the Boldly Bare lip liner and the mullet over shade, which is these two right here. All right guys, so the last thing that I got for Christmas that I wanna show you you guys is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amorizi highlighter. I cannot believe that I actually have this. This is the highlighter that I'm wearing right now. It is honestly one of the most beautifully packaged as well as beautifully pressed formulas that I've seen in a really long time. I feel like so much thought went into the packaging and how the actual formula was gonna look in the pan. And here it is what it looks like if you guys have not seen this. This is so 
gorgeous. When I first saw this in person, I was honestly pretty speechless, but this is such a gorgeous highlighter. Like I said, this is what I have on today. I feel like this is so universal for so many skin tones in the sense that it's light enough to show up on me and it's also light enough to show up on a lot of people. Like I know people who are way more fair than me and this works for them, but then I also know that it's gold enough and rich enough to work on tan to deep skin tones. So I don't know how ABH and Amra, is her name Amra or Amrisi? I think it's Amra and Norvina did this, but it is the most beautiful universal highlighter ever. And I was so sad when I missed out on it the first time, but I'm so happy to have this now. So. I almost forgot to mention you guys because I don't have it right here, but my mom also did get me another Alex drawer for Christmas. I just need more room for my makeup storage and my skincare storage. And like I mentioned, I am planning on kind of redoing my vanity and moving around like a little studio setup in my room. I am also planning on getting a Linman tabletop just so I could have the two Alex drawers as well as the Linman tabletop. And then also another thing that I forgot to mention that I will insert a picture of right here is a teddy bear coat. My aunt got me a teddy bear coat from Nordstrom and it is the most warm and cozy thing ever. I was seeing so many different like bloggers and people on campus wearing these coats and I was just like, those look so cute and so cozy. So I really wanted one and my aunt sent one over for Christmas. All right, you guys, so that is going to complete my what I got for Christmas video for 2018. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Again, please don't take this as bragging. It was just all for good fun. And like I said, I've done this every single year that I've been on YouTube. So I want to keep the tradition going. Definitely let me know what you guys got for Christmas or how you celebrated the holidays. I would love to know. If you guys want to go check out my past what I got for Christmas videos, I will have all of those linked in the description box down below. So you can definitely go check it out. Like I said, the one from like 2015 is a little funny and rough to watch, but I like to leave it up just so I could see my progress on YouTube and just so I could look back on when I first started my channel. If you guys did enjoy my what I got for Christmas video this year, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel before you leave. I would love to have you guys here as part of my little YouTube fam. If you don't want to miss out on any of my future uploads, make sure to click that notification bell down below and you will get notified every single time that I upload a new video. I hope you guys had an awesome holiday season and you have an even better 2019. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and of course, I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.